um, episode 6, tag and cards. Let's recap the problem statement. We are given a sequence of integers. Uh, we are asked to calculate the number of subsequences uh, of the given sequence with average equal to given number a and average here is arithmetic mean. All numbers are up to 50. By definition, average is sum divided by um, the size of the chosen set, so like count. Um, so if we calculate the number of sequences for all pairs of sum and c and t, we will then be able to iterate over all pairs, uh, check if average is actually the number a that is given, and uh, sum up the number of sequences with correct average. We can do that with a simple uh, knapsack DP. Uh, usually we just store um, for each sum and for each prefix the number of ways to achieve that. But here we should also store CNT. So um, the state of our DP will be uh, the prefix we considered, number of chosen elements and the sum of chosen elements. Uh, this is up to n, this is up to n, and this is up to sum of all x's, which is bounded by n times c, which c is the limit on the elements. So the solution works in uh, n cube times c and should pass without any issues, but we can do better. When you're working with averages, it sometimes helps to like remove the average from all the elements in this case subtract but there are like different averages so like you should consider elements not as uh, elements on their own but like how different are they from the average so in this case we will consider elements to be uh, like shifts from average so we are given xi but if we introduce yi which is equal to xi minus uh, a which is the average we want uh, now yi is like how different the element from the average so mm, average of some set of x's is a if and only if average of the corresponding set of y's is zero uh, looks like it's the same thing, but it's actually better because uh, average is zero if and only if the sum is zero. And we also should consider an empty set separately, but that's easy. Just don't forget to do that. Um, so now we don't care about the size of the set, about CNT. We just need to make some uh, equal to zero, so we can use the usual knapsack dp. Uh, so the state is just prefix and sum. Uh, we have changed the values and now they can be negative, but they are still between uh, minus c and c. Uh, actually, uh, like it is possible to write it accurately so it uh, works in just the same time uh, so like the range of possible sums uh, is the same as it was before uh, but just saying that sums uh, range from minus n times c to n times c is also fine that's just constant overhead so now this dp works in n square times c so we uh, saved one uh, n multiplier in complexity and uh, this is a very simple problem to illustrate uh, this nice idea that when you're working with averages uh, you should try to make the average to be 
zero because it is simpler to work with sums than with averages. Averages are not nice in general uh, because like they depend on sum and uh, number of elements they change at the same time and the uh, way uh, in which average depends on sum and uh, cnt is not nice like sum divided by cnt very hard to follow if you increase sum by something and cnt by one it's hard to understand how average changes so you want to eliminate this division uh, one way to do that is uh, this subtract average from all the elements um, there is uh, a different way uh, that is useful in uh, other kinds of problems about averages but uh, that will be probably the point of some later episode of um that's it for episode six thanks for watching